Augusta lawmakers and Republicans specifically are calling on Democrats to investigate Attorney General Aaron Fry. This comes after he disclosed earlier this week that he's been in a relationship with a staffer for months. It's a situation that the GOP is also using to call into question the way Maine's three constitutional officers are elected. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry has more. Maine is the only state in the country where the legislature elects the attorney general. In the wake of Attorney General Aaron Fry's announcement that he has been in a romantic relationship with a staffer for about seven months, Republicans are looking to change the way someone is elected to that office. Representative Billy Bob Fockingham says it's time Maine's voters pick constitutional officers, like the AG, Secretary of State, and Treasurer not the legislature. And Republicans are pushing bills to do just that. But I think that it uh, definitely calls into question the way we elect attorney generals by a popularity contest of the legislature rather than a good vetting of the public. As for Fry, a consulting firm representing him issued a second emailed statement Wednesday night, saying his deputy, Christopher Tabb, had done an internal review of the matter and found that although this consensual relationship does not violate the office of the attorney general's policies to date, it is clear that the policies of the office must reflect the high standards the people of Maine rightfully hold for the office. As such, Attorney General Fry commits to a full, transparent review of all the office's policies. Fockingham says any review should be done by someone outside the AG's office. The attorney general can't conduct an investigation of himself. He adds that since Democrats are in control of the House and Senate, it's up to them to figure out how to handle this. I really think the ball's in their court. I think they're going to have to do some soul searching and determine exactly how they want to handle this situation. Those decisions will be up to Democratic leadership, among them Speaker of the House Rachel Talbot Ross. Her office says in a statement that she will ensure that the operations of the Office of the Attorney General and the actions of the Attorney General undergo a thorough and transparent review. In Augusta, Jackie Mundry, News Center, Maine. We have tried to reach the governor's office three times on this matter and have not yet heard back. We have also reached out to the AG's office to see if the office itself would comment on the situation and have also not heard back.